Welcome to Daisuke Japan in Okinawa. Today we'd like to introduce a young lovely Okinawan artist, Nayuta Hirano, who lives a creative and healthy lifestyle. Let's meet Nayuta through her unique music and her policy on food. She gets her music inspiration from her daily life. She will also take us to hidden places of nature in Okinawa. For Thai and global audience, we kindly present to you the two languages system. Choose your suitable subtitle on YouTube Daisuke Japan. Daisuke, 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 Japan. Daisuke, 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 Japan. Daisuke, 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 Japan. Wow, this is the first time we really have the real jingle for the program. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Right now, we are with Nayuta Yeah. We had a very famous influence about ukulele. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm really into that kind of music and I get a chance to know people mm -hmm. in Thailand community. Yeah. And I got a friend, Atsadasan yeah. from Rigby Ukulele. He introduced you mm -hmm. that you are in Okinawa and of course you had a music lifestyle, very interesting yeah. life here. So to let other people know, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. I'll explain what my name means. Oh, sure. Yeah, because everyone asks me. Mm. It's a very unusual name to have in Japan. Oh, yeah, so Nayuta. It's a number, and it's like a huge number. Like infinity. So infinite is you can't count. Uh, uh. But Nayuta is the biggest number you can count up to. So, I'm gonna be the infinite girl. Yes! <laughs> um, as you know, I play the ukulele and the guitar and sing and I write songs. I love to create in general, so not just playing music and writing music, but I like to make art. I think cooking is art, so I like cooking. I like sewing and drawing, so I like to create. That's me. I like music, but in some part, cooking. Eh, I'm so <laughs> bad at it. But I have heard and followed Nayuta Sang's yeah. Facebook, and sometimes you post uh, photos of a very yummy, delicious food. And another one good fact is that you're vegan. Yes, I am. I started becoming vegan when I was 14. The reason was because I started to get skin problems. Mm -hmm. And my doctor that I went to told me to stop eating meat for a while. I never thought there was a lifestyle without meat, so mm -hmm. I, I was surprised when I heard that. But I started it and I really liked it. And I found out that like it's much healthier and environmentally friendly mm -hmm. and nice to the animals. And there was so many positive like mm -hmm. impact on me and also like everything around me. So I was like, okay. I'm not gonna eat meat anymore, and I decided to become vegan. So family supports you. Yeah. Oh. So my mom started to become vegan with me. Oh, so it was very easy for me. In Okinawa, is it really have this kind of lifestyle popular, like the restaurant or people? It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was ten years ago, eleven years ago that mm -hmm. I became vegan. So it was very like unknown, mm -hmm. and it was hard for me mm -hmm. to eat out. Like I would say, oniku nuki de onegaishimasu, like no meat, and they'll be like, what? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we can't do it. But mm -hmm. now people are starting to understand, uh -huh. and I tell them that I'm vegan or vegetarian, and they're like, oh, okay, I'll do it without meat. And there's a lot of delicious vegan restaurants in Okinawa. Oh! A lot. Today, I'll introduce you to some of my favorite. Oh my god, is this the place <laughs> where we are right now? This is one of my favorite. The Plantholic is a unique cafe in Okinawa, which provides raw vegan or unprocessed food with the concept of perfectly happy foods. What is a vegan? 
It is similar to being a vegetarian where it is a plant-based diet, but with the additional of avoiding all animal-related products such as meat, dairy, eggs, and honey. The menus of Planholic are well considered to the proper nutrition and the delicious fresh flavor. Let's learn more about the vegan lifestyle with Nayuta Sang and the Planholic. ウィットグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはいグラスジュースはい
I guess, three times a day. And if you stop eating meat like three times a day, that's a lot of animals you can save. And it's something you can do right now. So, this is a very、uh, small step, but it's really good experience for us and、uh, to show everybody that this kind of lifestyle、mm-hmm. is t really e x c i t i n g and enjoyable.、Mm-hmm. And maybe you can seek for this lifestyle in your own community and area、mm-hmm. to get to know new experience. What's the bad things about yeah. it, right? Yeah. We still have the main cause, which is the music. Yes. And a y u t a s a n g o n a led us to go to her favorite place in Okinawa, which is. You have composed many songs in、mm-hmm. Okinawa. Yeah. What of the time your main inspiration came from what? Whatever I'm feeling, I want to put it into words.、Mm-hmm. But I never like, try to write songs.、Mm-hmm. It just comes to me, and I, I'm like, oh, I'm playing the ukulele or the guitar,、mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, that's a nice like, chord progression, and I put like, a melody on it. And then I put the melody and words like, together. <gasps> So at the same time, and I start writing, and I have the recorder on, and I write, 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 write. And it's finished, and after I finish writing, and I sing it to myself or like to my friends,、mm-hmm. and then I understand what the song means. I learn a lot from my own song. One, two, three. I am blind, I am blind, I am blind like a potato. I am sweet, I am sweet, I am sweet like a tomato. I erupt, I erupt, I erupt like a volcano. I 
can dance, I can dance, I can dance like a Latino. When I listen to her song, maybe my feeling is like a cheerful, mm. happy heart. It's happy music. <laughs> a lot of people, like, I don't have a genre, uh -huh. so when people ask me, I'm like, uh, it's happy music because <laughs> yes. it's always like cheerful songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even when I'm feeling sad, mm -hmm. I try to write a song so I can make my sad feelings into positive. Mm -hmm. I think it's automatically my face needs to be smile. Yeah. yeah. So it is really nice feeling, not just for the one who play and also mm -hmm. for the listeners. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who really listen to your song, it's more like uh, Japanese people or foreigners? Japanese at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go worldwide. Because some of your songs are in English. Mm -hmm. Mostly, it's like 50% English song, 50% Japanese song. So why won't you be the first one to pass down the happiness? How do you feel that Okinawan atmosphere and lifestyle inspired? Okinawa is very laid back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Thailand too, but very laid back and no one is really worrying about time. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. It's, I think it's a very nice place for people who wants to make art. Mm -hmm. And Okinawa has an atmosphere of letting you do that if i'm in mainland japan because everyone is like moving so quickly i might feel a bit rushed mm -hmm. and feel like oh oh i should be doing this i should be doing that so, so wh when did you move to okinawa why did you move um to i moved to okinawa 2009 2009 yes the year before i moved to okinawa i came to okinawa as a family trip mm -hmm. and i was singing on the streets well, in a shop, and then a guy came to me and he's like, I really like your song and I want to introduce you to a producer. We started like recording, mm -hmm. so I was going back and forth, back and forth, Okinawa. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm going to Okinawa, and my mom and dad was like, we like Okinawa too, so we want to move. Oh, well, <laughs> that's easy, wow! <laughs> <laughs> and so what wow. made me come to Okinawa was music. Yes. You want to listen to music now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Since I'm here, I asked Nagita-san if I could join and featuring yeah, your original music. Course. What song is gonna be? We'll see. Oh, ho, ho.
hungry. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> Me too. All right. So we're ne. What kind of restaurant? Do you it's called Esparza's, and they're a tacos restaurant, so Mexican food. Do you know that tacos, the Mexican food, is popular in Okinawa? Tacos were well liked by the Americans who were stationed in the military camp in Okinawa. Esparza is Nayuta-san's favorite Mexican restaurant that serves the vegan and vegetarian-friendly Mexican menus such as chorizo with tofu, bean burritos, and more. We are excited to see what kind of Mexican vegan dishes that Esparza serves. Wow. Yay! This is vegan tacos. Look, this is vegan cheese, so it's not cheese. Okay. My menu is called Very Vegan. <laughs> wow. So, Okono-san, mm. how about today? How do you feel? Also, the morning. Yeah, I didn't know about vegan. And also, that's, of course, I like her music! Thank you! Very good music. Yeah. Good energy. Yeah, yeah. yes. That's yeah. how I feel too, because not only just the beach and the waterfalls that you get a chance to listen to Nayuta's yeah. music, Okuno-san, listen to Bounce. our song in the car. And how about Nayuta-san, our guest today with Daisuke Japan? Oh, it was so fun. I, I can't, it doesn't feel like we met for the first time and like spent a whole day together and spending the day together, we bonded so much and I feel like I made a lot of new friends. <laughs> yeah. And we feel very thankful that you really take us tour to your favorite place and introduce us more about Okinawa. How to say thank you in Okinawa? In Okinawa? Okay. One, two, three. Nipele Bidu! Nayuta Sang was very energetic and brought immense joy to us. We found how Okinawa inspired artists and people to be healthy and have a free mindset. Nayuta Sang is one of the artists who is capable of encouraging the young generation to enjoy and be mindful of their daily life through her music and lifestyle. Please visit her website worldwideweb.nayutautau.com to explore more of her unique music and see you next time. Daisuke Photo Tips Daisuke Photo Tips in Okinawa Okuno-san comes with the flagship camera of Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II Do you spot that boat in the sea? We should make the boat shot more interesting Let's try adding elements to the foreground how about trees as a foreground? Also, adjust the aperture and focus on the boat. All the focus parts would be blurred. This way you can frame the boat with the natural elements to create more story and emphasize the object you want to show in your photo. Bye bye!
next week of Daisuke Japan in Okinawa. Feel the joy and energy through an Okinawan artist with a vibrant soul, Yachi Moon. Explore the town of Naha and enjoy delicious Okinawan food with locals. Sing along as we explore. Don't miss out Daisuke Japan every Sunday on this channel.